Welcome to the Eduonix Cloud course. Thank you for participating in this course. Let's just take a moment to introduce the course and outline what you will learn. This is the Cloud Syllabus document, and you can find this document in the Documentation folder in the top level. This course is an overview of current cloud architecture and cloud technologies. It's an introduction to the public open source cloud service in regard to using established cloud infrastructure that is available such as Amazon's AWS and Google Cloud Platform. We will try to maintain a practical, hands-on approach while at the same time facilitating the concepts at a higher professional level. For an example of this approach, we will illustrate a practical level of using Amazon Web Services AWS Service Elastic Cloud Compute EC2. The EC2 interface is the part of the AWS that provides an interface to Amazon's cloud virtualization technology. It is a proprietary interface, and we compare it to other open source interfaces such as Red Hat's offering OpenShift Origin, which is an open source virtualization stack which you can download and install on your computer and use it to develop your own applications which you can later upload to OpenShift. Both systems have their advantages. The skill set required to access Red Hat's offering, OpenShift, is much higher than the skill set required to access Amazon's Web Services EC2. So both systems have their advantages. And as we go through the course, we will constantly try to illustrate the advantages of the technology we are demonstrating. So let us move on now and step through the components of the course and outline at a low level what we will learn. Course components will follow the following sequence. Firstly, the introduction to the cloud, where we will start by looking at the service models, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service, sometimes referred to as IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. We will look at the cloud architecture. Here we will look at the cloud architecture in the virtual machine stack as it's evolving in the cloud, where we have the cloud operating system that's the latest evolution of a virtual machine stack as it is in the cloud today. Then we will move on to look at cloud technology examples for these models. And we will look at the different providers Amazon and Google, and we will also look at an open source offering by Red Hat OpenShift. We will try and develop simple applications that we will deploy on those platforms. After we finished looking through the practical examples of deployed applications in virtual machines on major providers, Google, Amazon, and Red Hat, we will then move on to explore the core cloud technology virtualization. We will expand our understanding of virtualization by working with concrete examples. We will start by looking at the virtualization architecture, understanding what is a process and how a process defines a container and how a container can exist, how our application can run inside the container. So we will look at this in the idea of virtualization architecture. Once we've reviewed and learned the architecture of virtualization, we will then consolidate our understanding by going through virtualization examples using two different technologies, Oracle VirtualBox and the emerging virtualization technology, Docker.